Hey y'all, um, there's a car passing by. It is November, I don't know if you can see me. It is November the 15th, 2018, and the temperature dropped below uh, 60 degrees, and so that's why I'm all bundled up. All right. Anyways, I wanted to holler at y'all real quick. Um, I wanted to holler at y'all real quick, real briefly, right before I go to work. And the thing is, I plan to make a, a better video about this topic, or these two topics, tomorrow um, after I've kind of dove, actually read, fully read articles and things of this nature. I'm not very prepared. But I do have a minute before work, so I thought, well, I would I'd touch upon it because I had noticed it. I noticed all sorts of things. I noticed all those things that y'all notice, and I know that y'all notice all the things that I notice. And it's, it's just, there's no way to cover it all because it's a daily basis type thing. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to talk about a couple of different topics just real real briefly that you might have heard if you are um, in the know uh, as far as this Parkland Nicholas Cruz thing. And one, I guess, the first one, I guess, in no particular order, was that he uh, voted, I guess. And that became the news. He went ahead and voted, and I had to double check. I do have to double check, but I want to say that he voted for Rick Scott. <laughs> Oddly enough, right? But they're still counting the votes and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, all right. So that that became a news article, and you know what? I th I thought it was kind of interesting about it, and I don't know if y'all did as well. Is that, um, I, you know, I didn't know that they had voting booths in jails and stuff like that, but as I guess they do. And because they have voting, or I, I don't know if they hand them a slip in the cell or whatever, because they have voting in jails, people find out that Nicholas Cruz went ahead and voted. He is of age. And a lot of people had a lot of stuff to say about it. I'm sure that they did. Uh, Dana Lash probably did. Uh, Laura Ingram, more likely. You know, all sort of conservative people. And there are brothers and sisters. You know, uh, if, you very well consider us conservative or I mean we're all sort of things we don't even have labels on us right but we want what's right right so anyways the law is that convicted felons cannot vote right Nicholas Cruz is convicted of nothing and so people were like showing their outrage <clears throat> they're like oh this is outrageous that he'd be able to vote yeah also it's the law it, also legally he can vote right so I don't even <laughs> I don't even understand, except to say that people, all right, people are uh, being drawn into two different realities. I guess you would say, all right. <clears throat> a lot, of, most of the people out there, uh, they really want to believe that Nicholas Cruz did it. Now, at, at the same time, they have no choice but to understand that uh, Scott Israel and uh, the BSO dropped the ball in every single way. So did the FBI and all sort of people. Just <clears throat> can't help but notice it, all right. They're being dragged down some sort of reality in which Nicholas Cruz is a monster and he definitely did all this stuff. And meanwhile, all the authorities, all the authorities involved, they all dropped the ball all at the same time. Right. But, you know, it's interesting is they don't want to go down that rabbit hole, if you will, <coughs> of perhaps they're lying about that, too. Right. They don't want to, they still want to think. And, you know, who knows how long they'll think. Without evidence that Nicholas Cruz did all this, and he's a monster. Even if he was a monster, I don't see why he can't vote. He's not being convicted of anything. Isn't that the law? It's ridiculous. But not only that, that's not even a news story. <clears throat> how many how many people in jail voted across the nation? All right, it was probably more than Nicholas Cruz. These are people who are not convicted of felonies, by the way. All right. Anyways. I also wanted to touch on, I'm going to touch on later when I get more information, uh, Nicholas Cruz assaulted a, a a guard in jail. I know y'all heard about that. Sun setting on all these different little publications. They're like, oh, Nicholas Cruz assaulted. The reason that they told you this, obviously, is for the masses, is for the people who refuse to believe that, that Scotty Israel could lie about these sort of things so they want to believe Nicholas Cruz monster 
And so you got to feed them little morsels here and there to remind them, hey, Nichols Cruz is a monster, you guys. And, and we're just going to go all on here saying this and that. But I heard, I heard he assaulted a guard and I heard he tried to tase somebody. There's no context to it at all. Prisoners don't live lives or anything. It's not like there's context to the stuff that they do. We're just going to let you know that Nichols Cruz... <laughs> And I'm going to dive uh, further into the articles. I mean, you don't even barely have to read the articles, right? The first few sentences you already know was, was popping in the streets, right? So who, who knows? Who, who absolutely knows? I'm sure nobody really discussed the context of that altercation. All right, but I'm going to dive into it uh, tomorrow. I just want to point out again, though, with both topics... Um, with both topics that ain't news how many guards how many prison guards do you think were assaulted last week across this nation how many do you want to guess i have no idea all right let's, uh, let's go even further how many people at state hospitals which are not jails how many people at state hospitals were assaulted across this country <laughs> that's not news you understand that they're they're taking the masses down a, a path in which they're trying to force feed you stuff that's not even the, the news it's not interesting right and furthermore i just want to point out before i have to go to work it is only interesting the only people who's reading these articles are you and me who don't buy into it and people who do buy into it and they're bloodthirsty period if they were not bloodthirsty if they did not want to see the drama and this and that and hear about this and that they wouldn't even be paying attention to these articles i promise you that's the only people who are paying attention to these articles everybody else who maybe do, has no idea about the situation they're minding their own business and living their lives they're not so bloodthirsty as this right but those bloodthirsty people are who the sun sentinel and this that and the other that's who they cater to all right anyways i'll holler at y'all it's november the 15th 2018 and i appreciate y'all i'll holler at y'all a little bit later